First and foremost, I just want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today for our monthly webinar focusing on marketing asset map, specifically marketing asset map to prospects and clients. Our focus today will be all the different resources that we have available to you, some of which you may or may not even be aware of. We'll be spending the next 60 minutes here together today um, ensuring that you're set up for success. Now, remember, like with many of our trainings, it's all about exposure. So there's probably going to be some things that you might want to jot down and follow up with us on, and we'll give you all the proper resources and where to go to continue getting help if you need it. Hope you all had a wonderful holiday Thanksgiving last week, uh, whether you chose to spend that with family or friends or doing something that brings you joy. I hope that you had a great week um, and we're excited to get your Monday started by learning how to properly market asset map. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'll start by introducing myself for those of you I've not had the pleasure of working with yet. My name is Leah G. McHenry. I'm our senior training manager over here at Asset Map. I'm really excited to take you through the material today. I've been working in the fintech space now for almost a decade, and I've trained thousands of financial professionals on technology. I've been with Asset Map the last five years. So very excited to share with you the power of Asset Map, but specifically with the emphasis on marketing to your clients and prospects. So this is going to be our agenda, otherwise known as our success plan of what we're going to be walking through together today. First, I'm going to focus on leveraging your resources. So we're going to talk about the marketing kit. We're going to talk about our marketing video that you may or may not be leveraging. We're going to talk about the power of sample clients in application, as well as some helpful scripts to help you introduce asset map. Then we're going to move into some examples for marketing campaigns. So um, we've got some great email templates. We've got some great social templates. We're going to talk about ways that we're seeing advisors market asset map through webinars or live events that they might be hosting. We're going to talk about clear CTAs. And for those of you that aren't familiar with that abbreviation, that's call to actions. So anytime we're looking to gather leads, we always need a very clear call to action um, to kind of gather that leads information and take it a step further. So we'll talk about that today uh, and showcase some light sample examples. Now, if you ever want to book one-on-one -on -one time to talk more about marketing, you can certainly do that. Just reach out to our team and let us know and we'll be more than happy to book that time. Okay, we'll come back to this marketing video when we get there. Where I'd like to start today is I want to talk about our marketing kit. So every single one of you, when you log in later today, you can come down here to the, self, the support button. So this floating blue button, if you haven't used it yet, I sure hope you'll start. This is where you can come anytime you need support. So this is where you can live chat into our team. This is where you can email our team. Of course, you can call us via our phone support line. Um, and this is also where you can search our knowledge base. So if you want to find our marketing kit, you can find it here by going search for help. And all you have to do is type in the keyword marketing kit, and it'll be the first option at the top called marketing your practice. Now, when you open up a support article from this view, it'll open it up, and then all you have to do is click this button here. It'll say marketing and three easy steps. When you click on that, it's going to open a link that looks just like this. This is our marketing follow-up, okay? So our marketing follow-up has our marketing kit. That's option number one. In our marketing follow-up, option number two is also our free marketing video. We'll talk about you know, when you might want to use the free or rather you might want to consider getting a custom marketing video. We'll talk about those. Okay. Down below, a little couple other things, just some things to think about um, embedding, you know, discovery potentially onto your advisor website. We'll show a sample example today. And down at the very bottom is where if you want to get a custom marketing video, you can't. Now, we're going to talk about each of these. So don't feel like, oh gosh, like you're going through this too fast. Don't worry. We're going to go through each section. I'm just showing you what's here on the marketing follow-up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to go ahead and post it into the chat for everyone. I would recommend clicking on the link that I just posted and maybe just leave it open in a tab in your browser. Come back into the Zoom with me um, and you can look at this later today. So where I'd like to start today is I'd like to focus on the marketing kit. Why? Because we've got these great marketing resources that are available to you, but a lot of people don't even know that they exist or really how to use them. So what we're going to focus on is option number one. 
Number one, all you have to do is click here. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up our marketing kit. So when you click that button, it's going to open it up. Now, our marketing kit as of today is stored in Dropbox. Okay. Uh, as of today, that's not something that we can change. That's just the way that it's set up. If it gets changed in the future, we'll let you know. If you're somebody who your employer or your organization blocks Dropbox, aka if you were to come to this marketing kit and you uh, follow up, excuse me, the marketing follow up. If you were to click this link and it gives you like an error message, it means your organization might block Dropbox. If that's the case, you can just come right here into Asset Map, open up the support center, come right to the live chat option, which is going to look right here. And you could just say, Can you please send me the marketing kit uh, as a zip file? Okay, so we can. There are There is a workaround for us to give you the marketing kit if necessary, but um, we will not do it to you unless it's blocked. Okay, so in the marketing kit, this is the highest level. It's going to say advisor marketing kit 2024. You'll notice that there's some different folders here. Okay, so we've organized the materials by these folders to keep things clean and concise for the group. Okay, so the first folder here is going to be our marketing flyer. So you may or may not know that we have two really great client facing um materials in the marketing kit. Number one is the flyer and number two is the poster. So let's go over some basic navigation of how to get materials out of the marketing kit within the Dropbox view. What you're going to do is you're going to click into the folder of your choosing. Notice along the top it's creating a path. So you started in the marketing kit and then you clicked into the flyer folder. So here's the contents within the flyer folder. This is the asset map flyer. You can come right next to it and click download. If you were to click download here, it's going to pop populate this. Now, a lot of people see this and they're like, well, I can't access it because, you know, it says I have to log in. You don't. All you have to do is click this option here that says or continue with download only. When you click that option, it will download onto your computer and you'll simply just have to open it. OK, now I have already downloaded it prior to today's call just to keep things clean and concise for the group. So this is what the marketing flyer looks like. And we do give the marketing flyer so that if you download it onto your computer, if you have a PDF editor, in theory, you could add your company logo or adjust contact information if you need to. That is not something that we will do for you, okay? We do not edit these PDFs on your behalf. So you will have to get a PDF editor or have someone on your team do that or just use them as they are, which they're great as they are, okay? I love the Asset Map flyer. It does a really good job of providing a 360 foot view of kind of what ASIMAP is. It also highlights some of the features that you're likely going to engage your clients with over the course of your relationship. If it's a prospect or lead, you might send them through discovery, but all clients, whether prospects and or current books of business, we really want to be leveraging signals and target maps to always be on the lookout for them. And in addition, making sure that we've got that accurate plan. So the marketing flyer is great. Coming back into the marketing kit here, if you wanted to go back out a level, you'll simply click back through the path, okay? So you'll click here where it says advisor marketing kit. It takes you back to the highest level of the kit. If you wanted to go into the poster, you can click into the poster folder. Notice again, the path. We started in the marketing kit. Now we're in the poster folder. You can also click on the... Uh, document and or resource you want to look at. This will put you in preview mode here um, and you can kind of zoom in and out if you wanted to see what it looks like before you download it. So this is what the poster looks like. I personally kind of like the poster best just because it has the ASA map nice and big up at the top. Still highlights those three different features, discovery, signals, target maps. Now if you open up a resource in this preview mode, how do you download it? So let's say I opened it up here and I say, you know what? I do want this as well. You're just going to come up here to this little download button and it's the same process. You'll click that. It'll come here. All you have to do, um, it'll just download it onto your computer just like that. So even if you see this, it says your file is downloading, you don't have to log in. You can just click close and it should download it onto your computer for you. Okay. Now to go back, when you're in this preview mode, you're gonna click the exit mark on the upper left-hand side. That'll take you back into the folder that you were in. And again, to navigate back, you're going to leverage clicking on the path along the top, okay? 
We do have a folder here for logo and design. So if you're somebody who is interested in putting the ASIMAP logo on your website, um, if that is of interest to you, this is where you can find our brand guidelines. You would be required to use our logo. If you're going, uh, you know, if you're going to reference ASIMAP, you should be using our, our properly approved logo. And if that's the case, again, this would only be if you're wanting to put the image uh, where it, it's our company logo. Okay, so we do have them here if you so choose. In addition to the flyer and the poster, we also have a few wonderful options down below, such as sample emails and sample social posts. Now, we will talk more about these later, but if you're somebody who's, you know, you're trying to find ways to introduce ASIMAP, you just don't know what to say, lucky for you, we've created some templates that can help get you started. Now, remember, these are templates, so it's not a perfect you know, it's not a perfect solve, if you will, um, because ideally you want to take a template and kind of make it your own. But for example, if you click into sample emails, you're going to see that I have several folders in here because I've created some sample email templates based off a variety of things. The first three folders, A, B, and C, are sample emails that are going to help you introduce asset map. And I've created a few different examples, some that would be geared towards your current books of business, clients that you've been working with potentially for a while, but want to introduce asset map to them versus B, which are prospects, new clients. Like if you're looking for some language on how to introduce asset map to them and C non-specific. So maybe you want to do an email campaign out to your existing books of business, but also a list of prospects. Maybe you want to use some more generic language not specific to a current client versus a prospect i've got that option there also give you a couple email templates i believe i gave one of e one in each of these folders on if you wanted to introduce the client portal if you wanted to introduce signals introduce target maps i also have a folder here called re-engagement so if you've got you know out of all of your book of business maybe you got some a and b clients and some c and some d Maybe some of those C and D clients you want to re-engage by introducing that you've invested in a technology like Asset Map, and you want to show them like a sample map, for example, right? Anytime we do marketing, I think you need a visual hook, okay? So you're going to find that even when you click into any of these emails, like let's click into the prospects and new client introduction emails, for example. Again, watch this path. We were in the marketing kit. We clicked into sample emails. And now we're in folder B, okay? All you have to do is open up one of the emails and you can see. So basically you'd have to download this Word doc, this Word doc, excuse me. You can copy and paste the text into an email. I'll show you an example of how to do that later. And ultimately you're gonna fill in the sections that I've highlighted in yellow. I tried to make it really obvious of where you're gonna need to add in your details, I guess with the exception of this one. So anything in brackets, you'll just need to make sure you fill out. OK, so one thing to consider is that in almost all the email templates, I put prompts of what you should likely either include in the email and or as an attachment. So for a prospect, you know, one of the best things you can do is show them a sample example of a map. So this is where sample clients can become very powerful. But in addition, we I already have like a sample um, a sample client PDF and a sample client image of a map already ready for you in the marketing kit. So if you want to just use the ones that I've already provided, you can do that. Now, if you open up my sample images and you're like, oh, I don't really love this. I'd want it to look a little different. You're going to have to create that on your own. Okay. I've given you an example. If you don't like the example, that's perfectly fine. You're going to create your own and we're going to talk about how to do that in just a moment. So again, when we're in a preview mode, uh, by the way, at the top of all of our sample templates for emails and social posts, I put a reminder that we are not your compliance department. So if you are required to get like marketing things approved, you have to do your due diligence. OK, um, we, we built these resources for you because we don't want you to have to start completely from scratch. But at the same time, you know, everybody might have different rules that apply to them. And so I just have to stress Okay, disclaimer, do your due diligence. If you have to go through proper channels or get things approved, make sure that you're doing that, okay? 
To exit out of this preview, you're just going to click the exit mark on the upper left. Again, it takes you back into the folder. You'll find your path here. And if you wanted to go back out to the highest level, you could click back on the marketing kit. Okay, and it takes you right back here. Now, in the sample emails folder at the very bottom underneath the sample email folders that are in there is a sample asset map report as a high resolution image. Okay, so this first one is an image. And the second one is a PDF report. So if you are somebody who wants to attach, you know, a, a sample example of an asset map, you're going to use the PDF. If you're someone who's like, well, I just want to be able to copy and paste a sample image so that it's like in the contents of the email so we could show, all you have to do is come in here. You're going to download these re resources. Okay, so here's that sample image. And if I wanted to download it, all I have to do is click download here. And once I click download, it'll download onto my computer and then I can leverage it. And again, if I open this up, it'll open up on my computer just like this. Okay. And I would be able to copy and paste this and put it in an email and or make it part of my email campaign or put it on my website if I want to. Okay. It just depends. Now, one of the pieces of feedback that we continue to get is, you know, sometimes people will look at those sample images or the sample PDF that we already provide to you here in the marketing kit. But if you're somebody who's working with a particular niche, like you work with business owners, or you primarily work with physicians, or you work with teachers, sometimes having a sample client um, specific to the types of clients that you're working with tends to resonate best, right? Because if we're looking to engage a group of teachers, we should probably have a sample map that illustrates somebody who is a teacher, right? The types of accounts that they might have, the typical salary that they might have, just because people, it'll resonate with them a little bit more. Now, if you're not familiar, inside the ASA map application, if you come here to your search households bar and you type in the keyword sample, with the exception of a couple of these, because some of these I've built custom on my own, and you're welcome to build custom on your own, but we give you about six or seven fully built out fictional sample clients. You can click into any of those samples. Okay, it'll open up the household. You will not have any target maps ran for any of your sample clients. You have to run them on your own. Okay, so if you want to be able to produce a sample deliverable that is a little more comprehensive where it has the asset map report and the balance sheet and the beneficiary reports and some target maps, you're going to have to run a couple target maps in your sample client. Okay. What I recommend doing is go into the sample client that might be of the most appealing nature for you and then open up their map and you can adjust all of their information. You don't like that this guy's name is Kyle Smith, you can click into him and you can change his name. And you can say, you know what, I want his name to be Hank Smith instead. Okay, great. Click update. There you go. That's going to be the name of this person moving forward. Okay, if you don't like the ages, you're typically working with people older or younger, you can adjust it. You don't like the salaries in terms of the monetary amount or the names that are listed there, you can override any of those things. Okay, again, you can come in here and you can adjust. I'm gonna switch it back to Kyle just for the time being. So we do have sample clients already pre-built and available in app for you, but you can go into them and adjust them and change the names and change everything about them to mirror your demographic a little bit better. And if one of you changes the sample clients, it's not going to affect anybody else that has the sample clients. These are like single copied versions for each of your logins individually. So you can like freely make adjustments. Okay. Um, but if you're like, how do I revert it back to what it was before? I don't think that's possible. Okay. Um, you can check in with our team about that, but just make sure that you're taking a sample client. And then if you want to produce a deliverable, you just come into the report section once you've got the map and the balance sheets and the target maps, everything the way you want it to be. Then you can come to the reports area. You can download a PDF and you can save that and use that moving forward. Okay. Now, let me check in with the group. I'm just going to see if there's any questions in the chat. It does not look like there are any at this time. For those of you on, if you do have questions, please use the chat feature in Zoom and just let me know. If it's very case specific, I'm not going to answer it on today's call. That's not fair to the group. Um, but if it is applicable to everyone, we'll make sure to share that. Thank you so much. Somebody wrote in something very nice. They said, great presentation so far. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, in addition to sample clients, okay, 
One of the things to consider is, and by the way, this is not featured in the marketing kit. So in the marketing kit itself, right, there's no marketing video listed here. Why is that? Well, it's because there's a couple different options. So the next thing I want to talk about is our marketing video. This is a one minute explainer video. It's car cartoon animated and it's narrated. So it does have a voiceover, which is really great. And it talks about the power of having a financial professional that can help you get everything organized in one place. Back in that marketing follow-up link that I shared with everyone earlier today, remember option number one is the marketing kit. That's where you're going to find client-facing flyer, client-facing poster, sample emails, sample social posts. Option number two is where you're going to find our marketing video. Now, this is our free marketing video. So this free video, it's owned by us, so we will not send it to you as a download, okay? We can't because we own it. You don't own it, therefore you cannot have it as a download. But the free marketing video, you can copy our streaming link if you wanted to go paste it in an email and use this as a way to help you introduce Asset Map, right? Um, or you can also take this video and you can embed it onto your website. And this is where we're giving you the embed code for our free video. Okay. So that's option number one. I think the free video is great, but the ending will be branded to Asimap because this is our video. This is why a lot of people opt into getting a custom marketing video instead. Why? Because the ending would be branded to you as the financial professional. We would put your company logo. We would put your contact information. And people tend to prefer that. A lot of compliance departments tend to prefer that because we can put the necessary disclosure language at the end of this as well. Um, now, the custom marketing video does cost $350. So I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. So if you want to order a custom marketing video, you can. Now, for those of you on the elite level subscription, a video, a custom marketing video comes included in your subscription. So if you are an elite level subscriber, which many of you are, because I recognize a lot of your names, and many of you have already ordered your custom marketing video because I recognize people's names and I know that I've built some for some of you. But for those of you that are on our elite level subscription, if you've not ordered your custom marketing video, I'll just ask that you hop in app. So you're going to just come back here into Asset Map, okay? You can click on the chat bubble on the upper right, and you can just live chat our team and say, I would like to um, order my custom marketing video, and then they'll have to just verify your subscription because we do check to make sure that you're on the elite level subscription, and if you are, we will send you the proper form that you can fill out, okay? We do gatekeep the form because I can't share it on today's call because there are people on the professional level subscription, and I can't have people ordering the form that are not on ordering through the form that are not on the elite level subscription. Okay. So a couple things to consider there. First, I want to show you what the marketing video even looks like. Now I have turned the sound off for the sake of today's presentation. So I'm just going to share with you ultimately what it's going to do. So this marketing video, it just talks about how, you know, as an individual, so this is a client or a prospect, as an individual, you know, you've got these accounts that you've collected over the years, maybe a 401k, maybe you got an old one, maybe you opened an IRA, you know, you got some, some term policy, maybe group policies through work, you got your banking accounts, right? And at the end of the day, you've got these accounts that may or may not get the attention they deserve, and you may or may not have people in your life that are relying on you to make the best financial decisions. This is where you all come in. Y'all are the one in purple. Okay, that's you, the financial professional. And in the video, we narrate and we say, listen, the power of having a financial professional that can first just get your entire financial picture organized so that we understand where you are today. Then we can focus on areas that might have risk or things that we might need to protect. And ultimately, we can focus on ways for to make additional income streams and ultimately provide the best financial advice possible. OK, this marketing video is phenomenal and I highly recommend starting to utilize it. Um, the great thing about the marketing video is we do have an option for it to be female uh, narrated or male narrated. Um, so even if you decide you want to use the free video, the one that's listed on the marketing follow up, which I'll go back there just so that you can see. So the one that's listed here on the marketing follow up is male narrated. But if you're someone who's like, I'd really prefer the free marketing video with the female narration, you can just um, 
chat into our team and we can provide you the streaming link and also the embed code if you wanted to put it on our website, okay? So if you are on our professional level subscription and you don't want to purchase a custom marketing video or you're not interested in upgrading, that's perfectly fine. You will have the free video available to you. You can use our embed code and put it on your website and or you can copy our streaming link. Okay, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this text and that's what you could use to go put in emails and things like that if you wanted to send it off. Now, I would like to showcase the marketing video because, of course, the marketing video is powerful to send off to prospects, clients that are going to be coming in for a meeting and maybe you're going to be introducing us a map for the first time. Giving them a little preview is really nice. Again, the video is only a minute long, right, which is really powerful. The other thing to consider is a lot of advisors like to put this video on their website. So here is an example of an advisor's website. You likely all have a website. You might have a section dedicated to process or services. And again, I'm not a part of your compliance department. So you're like, well, I may not be able to upload this onto my website. Okay, that's something that you'll have to do your due diligence for. A lot of people can. So I am going to show this example. Here is an advisor's office called Main Street Financial. They have a section dedicated to process. If you scroll down, you'll notice that they took their marketing video and they embedded it onto their website. So you can take the free video. We give you the embed code. You can put it on your website. If you order a custom marketing video, I build the video for you, but you're responsible for storing it. So when you order a custom marketing video, we will not store it for you. You own the video, therefore you're responsible for storing it. So you'll need to upload it into like a Vimeo or a YouTube. And then once you store it in a video hosting site like that, that's where you can produce your own embed link and then put it on your website and produce a streaming link if you want to take your custom marketing video and like send a link in uh, emails and things like that too. Okay. So I just want everyone to be uh, uh, knowledgeable about kind of what that expectation is. A lot of people will put the video on their website and then they'll put a little bit of text because good marketing is the following. We always want a visual hook. If you don't want to put the video, maybe you're going to take one of those, that sample asset map image, right? That I have in the sample email folder, for example. You could put the image on your website. You just want some type of visual aid. Now I will say that the video tends to be best and here's why. If you have video content on your website, you will rank higher in search engine optimization, okay? So one thing to consider with that is that, what does that mean? It means that you're gonna rank higher. So like if someone in your neighborhood goes to say, someone in your neighborhood comes, goes to Google and they're like, you know what? I'm looking for a financial advisor in my neighborhood. You are going to rank higher in terms of search engine optimization um, if, you have video content on your website, okay? So that means when people in your area go to Google and they say financial advisor near me, you're gonna rank higher than other firms that don't have video content on their website. Now, that being said, do you have to put it on your website? No, if you don't wanna put the video there, that's perfectly fine. If you're not permitted to, okay. But a lot of people will put the video and or a nice asset map image, and then they'll put a little bit of healthy text. A lot of people like our text. I always say to folks, listen, if you like this text, you can copy this text, but you should reword it, okay? Because if everybody's just copying the same text and putting it on their website, and if someone notices that, it's going to be a little weird because everyone's using the same text. So if you're not using ChatGBT, that could be a good option for you. You could always copy this text and you could say, can you reword this for me? Or just do it yourself. Use this as inspiration. Write out your own thing. But a lot of people will pair their marketing video with a clear call to action. Again, a CTA. This is a button added to this person's website, and it says, start building your asset map now. Now, behind this button could be a few different things. Sometimes if you're working in a firm environment, it might be like schedule time with us, and it could be like your team's rotating calendar scheduler. Um, for some of you that are on office pricing, that means you may have like firm level discovery, right? So a uh, discovery interview that's branded to the firm that is only available if you're on office setup. Okay, office setup, office pricing. So if you're an individual advisor with one, one licensed asset map, you can't have firm level discovery. That's not how that works, okay? So if you have questions about an office setup, it's a minimum of three advisors or more in your office. So that means like three um, asset map subscriptions, if not more. 
that comes with special office features, things like firm level discovery. If you wanna learn more about that, you can reach out to our teams, okay? Now, if you're an individual advisor and you're, you know, you, you, you have an individual discovery inbound link, right? You could also put your inbound link here. Now, if you're asking what am I referring to with discovery, well, my hope is that everyone coming to today's call has been to some level of general onboarding. If you haven't, reach out to our team, okay? We offer great group calls every single week. We'll get you up and running fast. When each of you log into ASIMAP and you come here to add household, you have a discovery section. Everyone should have two discovery options, outbound and or inbound, okay? Discovery is a blank digital fact finder. It's a link, a link that you send to a lead or a prospect. They click on it. They go through the series of questions. They go to the end. They click all done. It adds a household into asset map. Well, anytime you're looking to do marketing and you want to leverage asset maps discovery interview as the call to action, you have to use your inbound link. Why? Because the inbound link can be used for the masses. Outbound cannot. Outbound, you're typing in a person's name, creating a unique link, sending that unique link to that one person. Inbound is what you're going to use for marketing, okay? If you want to leverage discovery as your call to action. Why? Because your inbound discovery interview link is gated. This is why I could send this link to 100 people and all 100 people would get the same experience. Number one, it's going to be branded to me as the advisor, and all they have to do is type in their name, okay, type in their email address, mark that they're not a robot, click continue, and then it's going to take them to a branded welcome page, and they can go through the preset series of questions. Many advisors will come here and copy their inbound discovery interview link, and that is what they will put on their advisor website behind this button. Now, if you're like, well, I'm one advisor of 10 in our firm, but I'm the only one that's using Asset Map, well, then you have to have a discussion with your office. Does it make sense for your call to action to be your inbound discovery interview link? Because it's not going to be branded to the firm. It's going to be branded to that one individual advisor. And again, we will not brand your inbound discovery interview to be labeled to your firm unless you are on firm setup and office pricing. Okay, it's not available unless you're on that. So I'm not trying to upsell anyone or talk to anyone about that. I just want to be very clear because there's a lot of people on today's call. I recognize names. Some of you are on a firm setup and some of you are have an individual advisor license. So I just want to be very clear for the group. So on this advisor's website, he took his custom marketing video. He put some healthy text. He had his website designer add a button. Okay, and then when the prospect clicks on this button, it takes us to that advisor's inbound discovery interview link. And then the prospect would fill out their name and their email. And then they could go through the series of questions. And then the advisor would be notified, hey, you had a new lead that came through your inbound discovery interview link. Okay. This is just one example of how you can leverage the custom marketing video and pair it with a call to action. So A, either a calendar scheduler or B, it could be your inbound discovery interview link, which is tied to asset map, right? A way to streamline getting a household added into the application. Now I'm gonna clean up some of these um, uh, tabs along the top so we don't get too confused with where we're at. So let's summarize the discovery fact finder for a moment, okay? A lot of people tend to forget what even takes place here. So we'll come back here. The power of the discovery interview is this. When people click start now, it's going to go through this series of questions. So they're going to click start now. We're going to say, tell us about the important people in your life. They'll add in themselves. They'll add in their spouse, their kids, people that make up their financial picture. After that, we're going to say, great. Now let's talk about your financials. So they're going to say, well, I've got income. I've got real estate investments. Great. They click continue. Based on the categories that they select, they can now click into each one and add those details one by one. So he clicks into income, he adds his salary, then he adds his wife's salary, then he adds his social security statement, then he adds hers, then he goes into real estate, he adds our primary home and their rental home, and he goes into investments and he adds his 401k and his Roth IRA, but he doesn't have his wife's investment information in front of him. Fine, he clicks continue. The point is, people can add as much or as little as they want. When they click continue, we'll ask what's on your mind. This could be goals. This could be concerns. Once they click continue, it's a free text field. 
There's nothing left for the, you know, they can write out anything they would like to discuss with you. This could be a couple words, couple sentences. When they click all done, digital confetti will fall, okay? When people get to this congratulations page, they can never change the answers that they've submitted. We do not send them anything. The only thing that happens when they get this page is it's complete. It's done. And then we will notify you, the financial advisor, hey, you had a new lead that came through. You then can open up that household and ask them app, continue to work off them, generate a report, send it to them or present it to them in the next meeting. Now let's talk about something very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. The discovery interview within Asset Map was originally designed to be used with prospects and leads, okay? For your existing book of business, so clients that you've been working with for some time, you really should be coming into Asset Map, okay? And you should either be manually entering that household and or going through integrations. You should be taking the liberty of building their map for them, okay? Why? Because think about it. I have a financial advisor. He has all my information. If he was to reach out to me today and send me through a blank digital fact finder, you know what I would do? I would call him up and I would say, hey, Tim, um, listen, I noticed that you're asking me to fill this out. I'm just a little concerned. Like, is my information missing? Like, did something happen? Like, why am I being asked to fill out everything again from scratch? Okay. Um, yes. And I see some people writing in that they'd like to uh, schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. Please reach out to our team through the live chat feature in app and or email us just because sometimes the chat won't save for me after the webinar. So if you're still on, please just make sure that you live chat our team that you'd like to discuss further. Now, again, discovery was originally designed and intended for leads and or prospects. I do think you can send existing clients through discovery if you know very little information about them. But you really can't pre-fill out a discovery and then send it to a lead or a client. It, it doesn't look very good. I'm just going to be 100% honest. I would not recommend doing that at all. So for people that you know a decent amount of information, you should really be either going the manual entry route and or using integrations to get their map built. Then what you should be doing is you can come into the marketing kit and you can come to the sample emails folder and you can come to folder A, which is your current book of business. Um, and we've got a couple email templates. If I open up one of these email templates, you can see that the prompt is that you are attaching their asset map report. So you're introducing that you've invested into this technology and that you took the liberty of building their map for them. You thought of them, you wanted them to be one of the first people that you built this for, take a look. Now, if you're somebody who's like, I have 600 clients, like I, I don't know that I have the ability to just be building one for every person. The goal is yes, but slowly over time, fine. What you could do is you could just attach a sample asset map report and say, I've invested in this technology. I thought of you. If you would like me to build a map for you, please just reply to this and I'll get to work building your map. Like if, if it's more important to you to take your top 20 people and you, you just want to figure out like if there's buy-in and somebody wants a map, you could do it that way. But to be honest, it goes a huge, it goes a really, really, really long way by just taking the liberty of building your existing client's asset map report and sharing it over to them. And then I give you a couple options, option one or option two, like please take a look at it and let me know if anything needs to be added or adjusted. Or I wanted to share this in preparation for our upcoming meeting. Let me know if anything should be updated or adjusted prior, right? So a couple things in terms of um, trying to set yourself up for success. Okay, so let's now move into our next section. Um, as we conclude and kind of wrap, um, by conclude, I just mean as we kind of wrap up here with the custom marketing video, the last thing I want to mention is if any of you are based in Canada, I do have a Canadian version of the marketing video, um, both in the free video option if you're on a professional level subscription and you'd like to use that, but also if you order a custom marketing video, as long as you write in that you're based uh, in Canada when you make your custom video order, uh, we can uh, pick the appropriate ones for you. Okay, that way, because we know that some of the asset titling is a little bit different if you're based in Canada versus in the United States. So we do have those options there as well. By the way, in our marketing follow-up link I posted earlier today, underneath option one, which is the marketing kit, I also have linked the sample advisor website. 
So if you have interest in kind of taking a look at this language again, or you wanted to kind of see how the sample was built out, lucky for you, we've just put it right here for you so y'all can use that. Okay. Okay, let's move into our next section today. And one of the things I want to talk about is email campaigns. So many of you probably have um, thought about maybe, you know, in the new year, maybe you have a list of prospects that you're going to engage. Maybe you want to make an announcement to your current book of business that you've, you know, invested into Asset Map as a technology um, and you want to leverage, you know, one of our email templates. You can certainly do so. What I'd like to do is show you an example of ultimately the steps that you take in order to do it. Okay. Now, listen, I know in this webinar, it's a lot of clicking around. So please just know that I'm very aware of that. But how we have a lot of these things stored, you are going to have to click between some tabs. So I do my very best to kind of move through things slowly, but I'm doing this intentionally because I'm trying to teach you how you can do it yourself. So thanks for following along. And I hope that everyone is tracking. Um, you can let me know in the chat if the pace is good and you're feeling good about what we've covered so far. That's always super helpful. Now, let's say that I wanted to do an email campaign. So what do I do? Well, I could go to the marketing kit and I could go into the sample email section. Okay. And let's say that I want to do an email campaign to a list of prospects. So I might go into option B, which is designed sample examples for prospects and or new clients. So what I can do is I can click into prospects. Now, let's say I want to look at email doc number three. So I can open it up. Sometimes I like to preview it first. I like to just look at this language and make sure that this looks good. Okay. Um, and I'm like, okay, let's just say I like this and I want to use this one. What am I going to do? First, you're going to download the email template. Okay. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to download it onto my computer. Then I'm going to open up the Word doc. Once I open up the Word doc, okay, I can click Enable Editing, and now I have this Word doc. Now I can just save it onto my computer. But before I save it, what I might do is I might adjust any language I want to do here. But let's say I just want to, want to use this as is. What I'll do is I copy the text, okay? So number one, I found the email template I want to use. I download it as a Word doc. Number two, I come in here, I copy the text. So all I did was come down here and I highlighted it with my mouse and I'm clicking control C on my keyboard. Or you can right click your mouse and you can click copy. It doesn't matter, either one will work. Then what are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna to go to your email, okay? And you're gonna open up a new email and it's gonna look like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste the email template, okay? Now, you might say, well, you posted the subject line in the body. Yes, that's fine. We're going to clean it up, okay? So this is what I like to do. If you're using a CRM system, sometimes they'll allow you to do a subject line and also preview text. If you're using just like Gmail or Outlook, you're probably only going to have one option for a subject line. And so you can kind of pick between these two, okay? Action required in preparation for our upcoming meeting or let's get a clear focus on your financial journey. So maybe I like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text, just like so, okay? And I'm gonna put it here in the subject line. Now, now that I've done that, I'm gonna highlight this text and I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna delete it. I don't need it anymore. Same thing with the body. So I'll click here before hello, and I'll just kind of clean this up. Now you'll notice that there are things that are in brackets. I did my best to try to highlight them all in yellow, so it's very obvious. I don't recommend typing in the yellow. If you want to do that, that's fine because um, you can clean it up after. So you can say, hello, I don't know. You might use more gener generic, generic language if you're going to be doing a mass email. You could say, hi there, whatever the case is. Then you're typing this out. And then I could come in here and I could call this Main Street Financial Services is the name of my firm. Okay. And you'll notice it says, see example attached. And this is where we're going to attach a sample client PDF. Okay, if you're like, well, where do I get the sample client PDF? Watch, come back to the marketing kit. Okay, go back out a level, go back to the sample emails, scroll down. Okay, this is a sample image and this is a sample PDF. So what I could do is I could click into the PDF and I could download it. And once I download it, it's going to come here. Okay, and now it'll be in my download. So then what I could do is I could come back into the email. I can delete this language because I added in my firm name. And then I can also get rid of this language because I'm about to attach it. Okay. 
So I'll come here and I'll do attach, or excuse me, I'll do an attachment just like so. I'm going to move this off because nobody needs to see all my folders and things in my computer. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to select in my recent downloads, I'm going to attach the sample report. So you can see it's going to attach. Okay. And then the next thing I say is in preparation for our upcoming meeting, we'd love to get started building your ASIM app to help us do this. Would you take a 10? Would you take 10 minutes and fill out a quick digital fact finder? Click here to get started. Behind this text, we want you to insert your discovery in discovery interview link. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go into asset map. Okay. Go into discovery and I'm going to take my inbound link and I'm going to copy it. Or I could, if I'm just sending a one-off email, I could type in the prospect's name, create an outbound link. If you want the link branded to the person, if I'm going to send this to more than one person though, I'm always going to use the inbound link. Okay. So I copied my inbound link. Now I come back here. All I have to do is highlight this text that I've already put in bold for you to make it nice and easy. Okay, highlight the text, and then you're going to put a link behind it. Okay, and that's where you're going to paste your link, and then you can get it started. So this should be a hyperlink. It'll look like this. If anything gets mess messed up, you should be able to click into it and click change. Like, for example, I need to put a space here. Okay, just a little bit of cleanup. Now, from here, I can then remove this because I don't need this part. Sorry, my mouse is being really difficult today. So we're just going to see if it'll work for me. There we go. Okay, just like that. So we can get that started. Then from here, this will be your advisor signature. So you can remove that after. Now, ladies and gentlemen, not every email provider is like this, but sometimes when you copy and paste text into an email, if you just copy and paste and you send it off, the text becomes purple when people read it. And anyone that knows about that will be like, oh, wow, you just copied and pasted this and sent it to me. It doesn't look very good. Like I always notice when people copy and paste and send stuff to me. And if it's supposed to be a more formal email, I'm always like, oh, that's a little shocking that you just copied and pasted that. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but sometimes it does. So to cross check your bases, okay, here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Always before you send an email, when you're using a sample template, highlight all the text, Come down to your formatting, okay? Select the background color to be white, which it already is, but you still have to select it again. You select the background color to be white, select the text color to be black, and that ensures that when you send this off that nothing is going to be in purple, okay? Um, now, I use a tool called Grammarly, so that's why some of my things are kind of outlined under yellow. If you have a tool like that, you might go through and make some edits and things as you see fit. But ultimately, I can come up here and I could put that list of prospects. So I could BCC a list of 20 prospects if I want to or 10 prospects that are going to be coming in the next week. And we could send this off if we want to. So that's just one example of a sample email option that you can do. OK, the next example of what I'd like to showcase to you all today is actually through social media campaigns. So. Um, in today's example, I'm going to use uh, my Facebook business page as a light example, but you could also do things, you might do things on Instagram, you might do things on X or, you know, I think it's still called Twitter, but Twitter is now called X. I don't actually know because I don't use it. Um, but if you tweet on things like that, you could do that. Um, and or, you know, you might do like a LinkedIn social post. So it all really can kind of be any of those social media sites. Again, if you're someone who's like, I don't even know that I'd be allowed to post on social media, do your due diligence. OK, check with your compliance departments and things like that. Today's example, though, I'm going to show uh, Facebook business. So I'm going to exit out of this email since we're done talking about that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over my Facebook business page so that you can see it. Oh, my goodness. Where did it go? My mouse is giving me major issues today. That's okay. Here we go. Okay. So here is my Facebook business page. Okay. And on my business page here, let's say hide my menu. Okay. This is where we can come to do posts. Okay. So if you're somebody who's like, well, I just don't know where to start in terms of these posts. Well, guess what? You can go into our sample social posts and you could do a post just like this. All I did was I copied the text for the post. There might be one call to action, which in this case was to put my inbound discovery interview link. And we even give you some sample images that you can do. So let me show you where in the marketing kit you could find a sample social post and how you could potentially do one on your own. Okay, so check with me here. I'm going to go back into our marketing kit. 
I'm gonna go back to the highest level, okay? And I'm gonna go to folder that says sample social posts. When you open up the sample social post, there's gonna be actually two options here. This is the Word doc that has the sample social post and then I've collected all the images in this one folder to make it easy for you. So what I typically recommend doing is come to the social posts and just download the Word doc with all the sample social posts on it. So I'll download it and I'll open it up so you can see. Exit out of that, okay. So I've given you, I believe it's 10 sample social posts. We give you images, you're free to use the images. We were allowing you to do that. But you can see that there's a couple different options here. So you might say, okay, I like this one. It's time to make your dream vacation a reality. Well, guess what? We give you the text, okay? We give you the text right here, okay? Even hashtags that you can use. So the first step will be to download the image that you want to use because you have to download it, okay? So what I tend to do is I'll just like minimize this Word doc. And I'll go back into the marketing kit right here where it says sample social post image. And I'll just get the image ready that I want to use. So let's say it's this one. I can click here and I can just click download. Okay. From there, I'll just download it onto my computer. And then I'll be able to use it in the social post. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reopen up the text. And I'm going to copy the text here. So I copy the text just like this. Then I can go into my Facebook business page and I'll come here to do a new post. How do I do a new post? Come on. Uh, let's go do a new post. Oh, um, okay. Let me do a new post. Where is it? Let's go back here. Okay. Come back here to do a new post. Go back into my business page. Thank you. We know how to get there. Okay. And then we can come in here. And we can um, do a new, although I don't know why it's looking like this. Sorry, everyone. Let me just give me a second. Looks like they did like an update, which is kind of unusual that they did that recently and I didn't know about it, but that's okay. So ultimately you'll come in here and you're going to do a new post. Um, what I can do here is I can come in here and I, if I wanted to flip to some of these different things, I can go ahead and do that. Um, and then ultimately see review changes to your page. So they did make an update there. This is where we can find past photos and things like that. And then all of our past posts. So if we wanted to come in, we have different options up here, friends, video, marketplace, groups, all that good stuff will be up there. Um, I'm just going to go back to the home page here. So this is where we can do a post. If I click here, this is where I can copy and paste and I can do the text. If I want to do an image, this is where I'm going to add a photo or image. So this is where I would click on that and that's going to open up my options in my computer. This will be where I can go into my recent downloads and I can select that image that I downloaded onto my computer. Now, before I think about posting this post, you can see that this is where I have to put a call to action. So it says like click here to build your map or click here to book a call. So what I might do is I'll remove that and I'll say click the following link to build your map because oddly enough with social media posts it won't let you put a link behind text so what you might have to do is just adjust the post slightly in terms of the language so you could just say click the following link to build your map now my call to action is going to be my inbound discovery interview link so this is where i'd come back into as a map get my inbound link i could copy that and i could go ahead and i could click paste and it'll post it as a link then if I'm happy with the way that this looks, I've formatted this in a way that makes sense. I can go ahead and click post. Okay. And then it's going to post that just like that on the social media. And then we'd be able to see that anyone that looks at this, this would be the link that they could click. If they were to click on that, it would take them to my inbound discovery interview link. The prospect would be able to go through that as well. So if you haven't taken a look at the sample social post, regardless if you don't think you'll be posting on social media, I do recommend at least checking out the images. Some people have really enjoyed the images to use for marketing. And again, we've pre-created them for you. So if you'd like to use them, you can. Something to consider. Now, as we kind of start to move towards the end of our session, one of the last things I want to talk to you about are live events, webinars, and seminars. Where a lot of people have been finding success is if you have, uh, you know, you give any type of a webinar or seminar or presentation, 
You likely have a PowerPoint or will be sharing your screen at some point. One of the best things you can do is have a sample asset map report pulled up, whether that's a sample client that you're just going to show an app, or maybe it's a PowerPoint slide like the example I have here where you've taken the sample um, asset map image out of the marketing kit and you've put it here with a call to action. One of the best things you can do is in the moment while we have buy-in, you can say to the group, listen, I'd love the opportunity to build a complimentary map for every single person who's present here, regardless if we continue to work together or not, or however you want to word that. Maybe you're going to charge people. That's fine. It's up to you, right? But this is where you can leverage your inbound QR code. What am I referencing? A lot of advisors forget that if you go in app, so let me go back here in app, Okay, in the discovery section, the inbound link also comes as a QR code. So you can take this inbound QR code and you can add it to your presentations just like this. Sometimes people will add it to the back of their business cards as well. You never know when you're going to have the opportunity to talk about what you do. So just knowing that um, if you're doing any type of live event, I think showing that you've invested in the technology like as a map, whether it's just showing a map, because Listen, that visual buy-in is part of the reason why you probably signed up with Asset Map, right? Is you saw a sample map and you were like, whoa, I like that. That's cool. I've never seen that before. This is something I've been looking for that made you inquire to come learn more about Asset Map. It's the same thing for clients, prospects. People are, most people, okay, are visual learners. So if we can show them a visualization that makes sense to them and they feel like they're actually a part of the conversation, they understand it. I think that that inspires people to tend to actually take action on what it is that we're asking them to do, right? So if you're not leveraging ASIMAP as part of your brand value proposition, I really, really want you to start. Now, um, we don't have necessarily... Uh, any script specific to if you're hosting a live event or a webinar, but what I will say is this, if you log into ASIMAP in app, if you come to the search bar here, excuse me, the support bubble, okay, so this bubble here is the same bubble here, both of them will open it up. If you come to search for help and you type in the word scripts, we actually have a PDF downloadable script you can take a look at, and we also have a little video of our CEO and founder giving an example of how he chooses to talk about asset map. So first option script introduction to prospects. If you open that up, it'll allow you to download a pretty in-depth PDF so that you can see written text and you can kind of take that, use it as inspiration to help you introduce asset map. In addition, this other option, how to introduce asset map in a meeting is actually an example of our CEO and founder covering how he chooses to introduce asset map to his uh, new clients and things like that. So some great resources for you all to consider taking a look at. Okay. So again, um, I think that live webinars um, and seminars or lunches and things can be really powerful. The other thing is sometimes people will take their inbound QR code printed out on nice cardstock as like little like marketing flyers that like people can kind of take home, like little place cards, things like that. And they can kind of scan it and go through the digital fact finder. Uh, I've also seen some people that will print it out and frame it and have like a table at the event where if people have interest, they can come over and ask questions and get started. Last couple things before we wrap up today. Um, the last few things that I want to discuss is I just want to talk to you all a little bit about uh, other ways we've seen advisors leveraging their inbound discovery. Like I said, sometimes people will take their inbound QR code, add it to the back of their business cards. I've also seen people that take their inbound QR code and save that to their homepage of like a tablet, for example. So you know how you can bookmark a website so that it almost looks like an app on your phone or on a tablet of sorts? In theory, you could take your inbound discovery interview link and you could save it as a bookmark and save to the homepage of, say, like an iPad. And then part of your process could be when new prospects come in, you ask them to come in 15 minutes early. They check in at the front desk. They then are handed a tablet that might be the inbound discovery interview link. Um, and then all they have to do is type in their name and their email. It's pretty similar to how like a lot of doctor's offices and things like that run today. You know, they'll ask you to come 15 minutes early just to fill out some basic information. Some people are leveraging discovery that way too. Last thing I want to talk about is if you're on our elite level subscription, you should definitely be leveraging custom branding because it comes with your subscription. What does that mean? It means we remove the asset map logo at the top of the screen and it'll be your company logo instead. 
Um, in addition, you can add a custom homepage. So if you want to have this nice image of the people that make up your firm, or maybe you just want like a scenic view, uh, custom branding really allows you to, uh, you know, kind of white label asset map to a degree, um, which is really, really nice. You also have things like uh, questionnaires. A lot of people forget that on the elite level subscription, you have questionnaires. So if you have like a custom questionnaire series of questions you want us to build so that you can send a link off to clients prior to an annual review. So they fill out those 10 questions or whatever the case is, we can build that for you. As long as there's no math behind it, if there is math or equations that need to be considered a scope of work, will have to be um, mapped out for that. The other thing to consider is with custom branding, you do get to pick a custom color, which would override the discovery interview, where instead, let me just show you an example here. In app, if you were to open up the discovery interview, so like if I open this one, just so you can see, the default is it for to be this blue color, but if you're on the elite level subscription, you have custom branding, which means that you get to pick a custom color. So you can pick a color that aligns with your logo a bit better. Um, and this color would change. So like, let's say that my company color is purple. I just type the hex number in. This bar would be purple. This button would be purple as they move through the experience everywhere where it's dark blue would be purple instead. Okay. So just something to consider. So if you're on our elite level subscription, I highly recommend that you just make sure that you have those things set up. If you have questions about that, you can certainly reach out to our team. Other than that, I just ask that you all please start leveraging the marketing resources that I covered with you today. Um, if you are somebody that's on our professional level subscription and you are potentially interested in upgrading, um, there are benefits to that. I mean, number one, you get a custom marketing video. Number two, you get access to Signals Plus, a lot of other really, really great features in Asset Map, things like custom questionnaires. So if you're interested in wanting to learn more about upgrading, I've provided a link in the chat. If you still have questions or you want to talk with anybody about what we've discussed, please feel free to reach out through our support channels. Our team will be more than happy to assist you. Um, again, this is going to be that marketing follow-up resource that I posted at the very beginning today. If anyone forgot to click on it, that's where you can find the marketing kit. And lastly, the very last thing that I'd just love to know if you could take just two seconds to fill this out for me. I'd love to know what you thought about today's training. Um, in the past, we've never really done a marketing call like this. And the reason being is that, you know, that you have to click through several tabs, but we felt that it was still important to still do this webinar to really take people through what's available, what's there, some different ways that you might be able to use it. So if you're still on today's call, if you wouldn't mind clicking on that link and just letting me know what you thought of today's training, I'd super appreciate it. Other than that, that's all I have for us today. If you have questions, please stick around and add them into the chat and I will get them answered. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next one. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.